God, we all come to you today with extremely excited and grateful hearts. We thank you for protecting and providing for these two all of their lives, leading up to such a beautiful day as today. We thank you for putting them in our lives and blessing us with these two amazing people. We are so grateful for the man and woman they have become and for the amazing relationship that they have grown and nurtured these last several years. We thank you for putting these people in our lives separately as a loving and supportive son or daughter, brother or sister, best friend or teammate, and together as an amazing, fun, and loving couple that we love so much. We pray that you're with them, God, that you bless and protect them all their lives, and that you show us how to love and support them fully and unconditionally, God. We love you and lift this marriage up to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. To the woman that runs my world, I would like to start by thanking you for giving me a chance and for seeing more of me than just the jackass that I truly am. <laughs> One of the first questions you ever asked me was what my goal was. <laughs> it has taken seven years to get a straight answer out of me, but my goal is clear, and that is to make you a proud and happy wife. You have been the man I knew I wanted to share my life with for a long time. You were the boy in that Taylor Swift song I daydreamed about in college, smiling from ear to ear while I sang, Corey finds another way to be the highlight of my day. <laughs> Taking pictures in my mind so I can save them for a rainy day. <laughs> you were the guy I was talking to, who I knew would be my husband someday. So to the beautifully wild college girl that I met <laughs> seven years ago, that I would awkwardly wave to in the halls of Cal State Fullerton, I'd, I vow to keep our love for each other as genuine and youthful as it's been since we've met. I am constantly in awe of who you are, your deep-rooted morals and your ethical values that make you such an honorable man. I don't feel like I deserve to share a life with a man like you, who changed my life. Yet here I am, living out my dream and marrying my hero. <laughs> to the princess that you are today, I vow to be a husband that will have your back in all of life's endeavors. A husband that will downplay any life's hiccups and over-celebrates any minor accomplishments that we have along the way. I will search my whole life for ways to make you happy, lift you up, challenge you, help you thrive and achieve in your dreams, our dreams. I vow to be your number one fan, your forever nurse, forever cheerleader, comedian, and truest, most loyal friend. I do. I do. For God and all of your loved ones here today, I now pronounce you man and wife. Corey, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> you guys I want you to reach the highest level of happiness and whatever that entails and I want you to do that for eternal life and you have my commitment that I'll be there for you through the end
it is now my greatest privilege to announce to all of you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Dietrich. perfect combination of strength and humility. Humility being he's had a lot of accomplishments in life, crushed them all, but he's never going to talk or brag about himself. My mom's got him. She is the perfect combination of beauty, class, and the ability to let her hair down. When going gets tough, just support each other and have each other's back and never forget what brought you guys to this day right now, why you guys are getting married. and. It's just gonna be amazing. We're all here to love and support and encourage you and we just can't wait for what's next. Bye.